Hello, everyone. My name is David Schmidt, and I am the CEO and founder of LifeWave. And I would like to take this opportunity to extend my thanks and appreciation to Dr. Effie Chow and Dr. Jack Fu for inviting me to speak at your conference. Today, I am going to be addressing the subject of light therapy and phototherapy and talking about how we can use this technology to activate the stem cells in the body and improve the flow of energy, the flow of chi, and also, of course, how we can use this to improve the body's healing response. You're gonna find this very interesting as another avenue of using energy to heal the body. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So this is a stem cell technology, but unlike the type of stem cells that you might be normally thinking about where stem cells are injected into the body, from an external source. What we're going to be talking about today is how to use light to activate the stem cells that already exist inside of the human body. What's so interesting about this is that there have been recent studies to show that stem cells exist in the meridians themselves. So for example, when we might stimulate stomach 36, or large intestine four. We're in fact liberating stem cells through the meridian and open up channels by which the stem cells can travel to the organs that need healing and repair. So we already know that stimulating acupuncture points in the meridian will stimulate the organ that they're associated with. But what's interesting is that this same stimulation may in fact lead to stimulation and activation of stem cells. Now the issue though, is that as we age, the stem cells in our body age with us. And the stem cells, we can just think of them as being universal cells that create all the other cells in our body. And if our stem cells are aging, that means their ability to heal and repair the body declines with age as well. But what if there was a way that we could get the stem cells that already exist in our body to act and behave like younger, healthier cells? It turns out that this is possible through light therapy. And by using light therapy, to elevate a peptide called GHKCU. So we're gonna be talking about more about that today. So here's the problem. We age and the stem cells age with us. They begin to slow down. They release less growth factors, which are required for repairing damaged tissue in the body. And after we get into our mid seventies, eventually there's virtually no more stem cells in the body. Now, scientists have been looking at alternatives to this process. Maybe we can take young, healthy cells and inject them. Uh, this is certainly being done, but it's expensive. There are risks associated with this. Sometimes the stem cells can attack healthy tissue. And sometimes because of chronic inflammation, the stem cells don't have any type of beneficial outcome. They don't do what they were intended. And most countries around the world, in the United States, European Union, and Japan, for example, really advanced stem cell treatments are not approved yet. They haven't passed scientific scrutiny. So what can we do today? Is there anything that we can do to take advantage of stem cell technology today? And there is. We've been working for more than 10 years to develop this technology and have received over 70 patents globally 
in the field of stem cell science and regenerative medicine. So we've put in a tremendous amount of work into this field of study. Some of the early work that we did was in conjunction with the National University of Ireland in Galway. Now they are in the top 2% of universities globally when it comes to stem cell research. We were very fortunate to have been able to make a presentation to their Regenerative Medicine Institute. And as a result, we received funding from Scientific Foundation Ireland to proceed with these stem cell studies. Now, this is a piece of technology that I invented and we developed at our laboratories in San Diego, California. And this was our first attempt to naturally activate the stem cells that already exist in the body. This device uh, produces a electromagnetic field and a longitudinal field. And as you can see, it is a double helix, and this is intended to mimic the natural energy form that exists around human DNA. And it produces some very novel effects. Now we've performed, of course, laboratory studies or in vitro studies, animal studies, and human studies. One of the studies that we did with rabbits, we were looking to see if we could accelerate wounds that were on their ear, diabetic ulcers. And this is what the ulceration looks like. And in our first attempt, we found that using electromagnetic fields, that we would be able to significantly improve the rate of healing as compared to a control that got no type of therapy. And we hit statistical significance. What's so interesting about this is that when you apply stem cells topically, uh, MSC stem cells, to these wounds, they heal at exactly the same rate as when they're treated by an external electromagnetic field. In other words, you don't have to inject stem cells into the body. What we found is that using energy, we can activate the stem cells and the innate healing abilities that already exist in the human body. And this may partially explain why Qigong and natural healing methods are so powerful because we're moving energy. And we know from uh, squid magnetometer research that Qigong practitioners produce enormous electromagnetic fields in their hands. So this is an interesting area of research for natural healers. Maybe what we're finding is that the natural intense electromagnetic fields emitted by Qigong practitioners activates the body's stem cells. Now, this is a organism uh, that we deal with in our laboratories called a planaria, and it's a flatworm. And what's amazing about the planaria is that you can cut off their head and in 17 days, they will regrow another head. The entire genome of the planaria is mapped and understood. So if we can improve the rate at which the planaria heal, we may be able to apply this to human beings. Using this technology, we were able to regenerate the heads of these worms in only eight days. So that's a remarkable improvement. But as we continued to do work with this technology, we found that we could regenerate the heads of the planaria in less than one day. So the direction that this is going in is that this form of energy medicine is extraordinarily powerful. And one day we hope to see this technology in hospitals so we can use 
this energy medicine to facilitate very rapid wound healing in human beings. Uh, but the problem is that this technology is expensive and we want to make stem cell science available to everyone today. So how can we do that? Well, we're going to do this with another form of energy and that would be light therapy. So of course we know light is very high frequency electromagnetic energy, so this makes sense. And light has been used for thousands of years in natural healing. We're just going to apply the light therapy in a different way using a different technology. Instead of using a lamp or a bank of LEDs, this light therapy is embodied in the form of a patch. The patch contains organic crystals and the, the crystals in the patch are activated by body heat. The patch is applied to the body. Now, this can be applied to different acupuncture points. So if you wanted to stimulate the lungs or the stomach, you could apply this to lung one or stomach 36 or wherever you like. If you'd like to apply it locally to the site of a wound that you wanted to support the healing, you could do that as well. But what we found in practical terms is that this is a systemic effect. So for example, you could apply the patch to the lower Dantian and you'll find that the light therapy in the patch will stimulate the entire body. So here's an example here where we apply the patch to the skin. It stimulates the skin with light. And now this is going to cause a biochemical change in the body. One way to think about this is we go out in the sun and sunlight will cause our body to make vitamin D. This is a, a process called photobiomodulation. And it simply explains how light can cause chemical changes in the body. This is really exciting news for the energy medicine community because for the past 10 years now, we can describe biochemically how light energy interacts with the human body. So in other words, we stimulate the skin with light. It causes an increase in cytochrome C oxidase. This affects energy transport in the electron transport chain. And now as a result, we get upregulation of ATP production in the mitochondria. So energy medicine, in fact, has a basis in biochemical changes. And as Dr. Becker would say, the energetic properties of the body control the biochemistry. So here we're taking advantage of these principles. We're using light to affect very powerful biochemical changes in the body and we are using this to activate the body stem cells and improve healing. So one way to think about this is that this is a form of low level light therapy. And we're going to use this to elevate the peptide GHKCU, otherwise known as copper peptide. Now what is copper peptide and why are we elevating this with light therapy? Well, this is something I would encourage all of you to take a look at. Copper peptide was uh, discovered by Dr. Lauren Picard almost 50 years ago now. And Dr. Picard devoted most of his life to studying this very, very powerful peptide. Uh, you'll find multiple uh, scientific studies that are published on copper peptide by Dr. Picard and others. And what Dr. Picard uh, came to the conclusion of is that copper peptide, GHKCU, was a very powerful gene modulator. 
copper peptide was capable of resetting thousands of genes in the body to a younger, healthier state. So in other words, we elevate copper peptide and now the stem cells in our body can function like younger, healthier cells, which is what we all want because now we can heal to a better degree. So how do we know that our X39 patch elevates copper peptide? Well, there's some names here that you might recognize, Dr. Caitlin Connor and Dr. Melinda Connor. Dr. Melinda Connor was blessed this past year to receive an award uh, from your association as scientist of the year. And it has been an absolute privilege to work with Dr. Melinda Connor and Dr. Caitlin Connor for more than 10 years now on research studies into LifeWave technology. So here was a uh, study performed by Dr. Caitlin Connor. And uh, since then, we have had a 60-person double-blind placebo-controlled study published, and you can find that on the LifeWave website. But this was our first study, uh, and the analysis is done with blood, 10-person uh, pilot, people over the age of 60. And we use people over the age of 60 because we find the copper peptide levels are lower, and stem cell activity has diminished 60 to 80% by the time we're over the age of 60. We're going to look at very rapid changes here, changes in blood chemistry within the first 24 hours. We also want to see in studies like this what happens over the course of the first seven days. So in other words, using light therapy, if we can get a, a change in the first 24 hours, that's fantastic news because that means we can get the stem cells going right away. So you can see uh, the study results show that after 24 hours, we get statistical significance at elevating GHK, and then after one week, elevating GHK-CU. This was a study done by Dr. Melinda Connor, and now we're, we're doing urine analysis to look at changes in metabolism when wearing X39. Uh, this was the second study of this type that we had, 50-person double-blind placebo-controlled, and again, using people over the age of 60. We looked for changes over a period of 24 hours and seven days. And what we could see is that, indeed, we had a statistical significance on an improvement in the metabolism of amino acids. So for example, we saw improved metabolism of the amino acid leucine. We know leucine is the key branch chain amino acid that activates mTOR, which of course is muscle protein synthesis. So we found that using X39, people recover from exercise more quickly because we're inducing uh, a higher degree of muscle protein synthesis. What we also found as another example is that the amino acid tryptophan uh, was metabolized to a greater degree, about 30 to 40% improvements in leucine and tryptophan metabolism. So the quality of sleep is improving. We also found improvements in short-term and mid-term memory in only a week. And uh, people that use the patch for a week even had a reduction in their blood pressure if the blood pressure was high. We found improvement in heart rate variability, which is the ratio of the high frequency, low frequency muscle contractions in the heart. Overall vitality and energy improved. Even the depth of breathing improved. So anyone that's doing Tai Chi, Qigong, energy healing will really appreciate the deeper breathing. Now we've done over nine studies on X39. I just picked a few to share with you today. This is uh, another one from uh, someone that you might recognize, Dr. Gaetan Chevalier. 
We've been working with uh, Dr. Chevalier now for more than 10 years. Uh, very fortunate and blessed to be working with him. And this is an initial study that we did on brain mapping using a P3 system. Uh, this was an open label study with 12 participants over the age of 50. And this was a little bit longer term. We wanted to find out with the EEG system what happens over a period of three weeks and six weeks. For those of you that are familiar with this system, you'll appreciate these dramatic effects. Session one is baseline, session two is after three weeks, and session three is after six weeks. This is a 77-year-old woman. We wouldn't expect there to be any dramatic changes because there's virtually no stem cell activity in someone this age. Yet by using X39 to elevate copper peptide, we find that there can be dramatic improvements in brain coherence, which is what this shows, in only three weeks. Now, some people, it takes a little bit longer. This is a 67-year-old man, and uh, you can see in session one that there were uh, uh, issues with brain coherence. We start to see an improvement after three weeks, but we don't get a dramatic improvement until six weeks. So some people are going to respond a little bit faster. So we encourage people to stay on the product at least a month to give it a try. Although most people are gonna respond and get an effect within the first uh, seven to 10 days. Now, what does this mean in real life since we're talking about healing? Uh, this is a gentleman in Italy uh, and he had had open heart surgery in 2017 and it left a pretty significant scar. We went to pre-launch with X39 in July, 2018. So he began to use it. And you can see after only one month, there is a dramatic reduction in the appearance of that scar. This was a more recent surgery. And you can see after two weeks, a dramatic improvement in healing. Now, some people uh, prefer to apply the patch near the site of the wound, and that's perfectly fine. But again, it's not necessary. Just wearing it at the lower Dantian uh, or at the back of the neck at GV14, uh, stomach 36, uh, large intestine four, or spleen six, wherever you like. Uh, this is a young man who was getting ready for a job interview, and uh, a few days before the interview, he fell uh, in a snowboard accident and got cut up pretty bad. But you can see that um, five days of X39, he had a remarkable result. This gentleman nearly lost his hand in a car accident. And after using X39 for just two months, there's barely the sign of a scar. So remarkable result here. This was a young boy in Denmark who caught his finger, uh, fingertip in a door and had it severed off. His parents rushed him to the hospital. They reattached the fingertip. And the doctor had said, well, it's the fingertips going to die. Uh, but the father begged with him to reattach it. And in fact, the fingertips started to die. They applied X39 and you can see just two months later, the finger is back to normal. And he regained use of the fingertip. Should not even have been possible. Now, what about if someone does not have an injury? Well, one of the things that stem cells do really well is increased production of collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. And of course, we need collagen to repair injury. But we all lose collagen with age. So uh, people that don't have injury, we can see how they can benefit. We can get a very significant reduction of lines and wrinkles and you can see uh, this woman here, her name is Mandy. Uh, she's from Australia. After one year of using X39, 
we see this effect that we call youth renewal, which means after a year of getting those stem cells to act like younger, healthier cells, she begins to look younger. Now, here's a dramatic example of this. This woman at the time was 93, and she was suffering with a number of uh, very serious health conditions. Her mother, uh, her daughter, wanted her to use X39 to improve her health. Uh, her daughter is a LifeWave distributor and uh, gave the patch to her mom. And you can see after two months, everyone was absolutely shocked to see in how in such a short period of time, her health improved. So I wanna take this opportunity once again to thank you for your time to learning a little bit about X39 and light therapy and how we can use energy therapy and energy technology to activate the body's stem cells. Thank you so much and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your conference. And once again, uh, many, many thanks uh, for being invited and having the opportunity to speak with you all today. Thank you.